Good morning. Good morning. Powerful. Blessed. Mighty. Amazing. Anointed. Appointed. Chosen. Called by God. Favored by God. Enriched by God. Loved by God. Dressed and adorned by God. Highly anointed. Highly favored. Sisters of mine. Daughters of the King. Sisters in Christ. Hey, my sisters. Good morning, Rosalind. Good morning, Kimmy. Good morning, Yolanda. Good morning, Marquita. Hey, beautiful sisters of mine. Good morning, Sandra. Hey, ladies. Good morning, Tawana. Good morning, Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary. Good morning, Sharon. Hey, ladies. Good morning, Marsha. Hey, hey, ladies. I pray you guys are doing well on today. So good to see you. Thank you so much for participating in these Dark K Live morning prayers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Joshi. I appreciate you, Edna. I appreciate you. Thank you. I don't take this for granted. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, all my sisters who come on here whenever we do this morning prayer. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. You could do anything with your time this morning, but you choose to come on in and tune in and come on here. And I so appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Praise God. My children, yesterday, they created a map. You know, my, my two youngest, my two youngest, Ethan and Faith, all yesterday, they, all they wanted to do was create treasure maps. And so they created this one, if you guys can see it. <laughs> and uh, my, my son, Ethan, he was trying to describe where the treasure is and what you got to get around and how to find it. And he was saying, you got to go around the, 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 the shark. You got to go around the water. Then you got to go around them. You got to go through the mountains and then you got to go around the monster and <laughs> you got to get past all of these things. Right. And then I think it's I'm trying to find where it's marks the spot. <laughs> I don't see it's let's see. Oh, Lord. OK, it's is up here. It's up here. So you got to get through all of these things. And there's where it marks the spot. You know and so what I did was I saw that they were trying to create a treasure map and so I helped them with their map and I told them you got to ball it up you know you got to ball it up kind of rough it up a little bit and then open it back up and then it looks like a you know roughed up like a, it looks like a real map and so I, I saw them trying to do that and so I gave them this box and I said here is your treasure box and so you got to hide this and then you make your map and then you go and you use your map and you try to find where your treasure is and so they they took this and they were so excited you know they grabbed this box and they just went and hid it and I said okay we're going on a treasure hunt and we skipping through the house we're going on a treasure hunt we're going to find a, a real one. We're not scared. What a beautiful day. If you guys remember that, that's from Dora. And so with raising six kids and being a stay-at-home mom, I remember a lot of Dora episodes. And so I remember that song from Dora. And so I remember that. And I said, we're going on a treasure hunt. And my son Ethan said, I don't like that song. I said, well, we're going to sing it anyway. <laughs> And um, and so we went <laughs> we went skipping through the house. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, with, with young kids, you got to keep them entertained, you know. And so we skipping through the house trying to find the treasure. And so we get to the treasure that Faith, my five, my four year old Faith, had hid it. And so um, we say, okay, we found it! Yay, we found the treasure! And so we open the box, 
and uh and that and this is my first time looking at it since since yesterday so i don't know what they have in here so right so i'm gonna look in here okay okay we're opening the treasure we got a toy we got a toy we have we got a rubik's cube that they hid in here <laughs> They have a stuffed animal that they put in here. They got a shark keychain. <laughs> and what else? And they got a they got a battery. And so they have they have these things in this treasure box. And they get so excited when they find it, even though they the one they're the ones that hit it. They get so excited when they find it and they open it up and there's so much, so much joy, you know, what I've been hearing, my sisters, what I've been hearing, and I pray this, I've been hearing in my spirit, the word treasure, and I've been hearing explore and just so happened, my children, they are on the same wavelength. I haven't told them anything about treasures. I haven't told them anything about what God has been talking to me about. And I saw my son yesterday. He was in the backyard. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm looking for, I found a canteen. I found a canteen back here. And uh, he said, I don't know if I need to pick it up because it looks real old, you know. And, uh, and so he's searching and he's finding my younger children are searching and they're finding and and i and i went on a walk this morning and i began to talk to god this morning and i gotta share with you guys i'm gonna get back to this but i have to share this ever since i've come back from hawaii i felt this is just me and what i've been dealing with right aside from jet lag and my body getting back in sync and my internal clock getting back regulated and everything getting back like it's supposed to be aside from jet lag i've been experiencing a level of discontentment and i've been feeling like man i want to go back there you know i want to go back there how can i get back there what decisions i got to make to get back to hawaii what what do we have to do and i've been looking at you know finances and decisions and choices and how can I get back there because I was so at a place of rest there and it was so beautiful there and that's where happiness is over there not at home with these kids you know and I just being honest you know I got back here and I was and I'm being pulled on mommy 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 <laughs> mommy <laughs> eat them put that down face put it down face time messing with your brother and and I, and I got back here and I was like, Lord, God, how can we get there? At least being a mother of six children may be easier if we can all get there. And so I'm sitting here wondering, how can we move? How can we, what decisions do we need to make? At least tonight, if we don't move there, how can we spend at least a summer there? Or, And so I'm trying to figure it all out, right? And I'm trying to trying to wrestle and I'm wrestling with discontentment and I'm not feeling this dot K live prayer. I'm not feeling like doing this. I'm not feeling like I'm not feeling inspired to even write. I'm not feeling inspired to do anything. And so I think I, I got back and I felt discontent and I went for a walk this morning and you know, Holy spirit, he doesn't just let you um, stay where you are. He knows how to get to the root. He doesn't just let you pray and then and then that's it. He he wants to know what's really going on with you. Where where are you really? Where's your heart? Where's your mind? You know, I don't want you to just talk to me. I want your heart in this. And so where where is your heart right now? And I said, Lord, my heart is in Hawaii. <laughs> my heart is in Hawaii. My heart is there. And I and I don't I don't feel content right now. And Holy Spirit started talking to me. He said, why don't you feel content? I said, because I, I, I experienced so much rest there. 
I said it looked beautiful. It looked beautiful. And then he said, what have you been hearing lately in your heart? What have you been hearing? I said, I've been hearing treasure. I've been hearing adventure. I've been hearing exploring. And I said, I don't want to explore here. There's nothing for me to explore here. I said, there's no, there's no adventure here. I said, all of my adventures are there. We got a chance to go and see a lighthouse and walk on a trail. And we got a chance to see a, a mermaid cave. And it just seemed like so much excitement there. And I'm sitting here telling God all of this, right? And pouring out my heart to him, which is what prayer is. You pour out your heart. You talk about what's really bothering you. And I said, Lord, it's, it's, it feels like my excitement and happiness is there. And there's nothing for me to explore here. You know, there are no treasures here. <laughs> you know, there's there, what is there here? And, uh, and Holy Spirit did what he always does. Just brought me to tears this morning in prayer. You know, he just brought me to tears. He reminded me of the scripture. Colossians chapter 2 verse 3. In Colossians chapter 2 verse 3. It says, in whom are hidden. Talking about Jesus. Talking about Christ. In Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge and I just started crying because Holy Spirit does that to us right he gets to the root and he shows us he gets to the root of the problem and then he exposes then he gives us his truth regarding that root that help us pull us out of discontentment pull us out of anything that we're feeling right anything that we're experiencing Holy Spirit will remind us of the truth regarding that situation and so I'm, he said, in Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. You've been thinking a lot about treasures. You've been hearing the word treasure. He said, I don't want you to think that happiness is somewhere else. And I want you to be somewhere else in order to experience the life that I have for you to live. He says, you have, and I'm encouraging my sisters, any of you that's feeling discontent with your current situation, you're feeling dissatisfied and discontent as though happiness is, is going to be found when you get to that place. Happiness is going to be found. You're going to really live when you get that relationship. You're going to really feel excited and be able to explore when you get that job, when you get to that location, when you get that relationship, when you get that house, when you get, you know, when you get that family, when you get a husband. You really be able to live. You really be able to explore and have, and that's the treasure. Your treasure is that relationship. Your treasure is that location. Your treasure is that vacation. Your your treasure is that career. When you finally get out of this job that you hate, and now you get to have that career that you really really want, and be able to do what's really in your heart to do, then you'll finally be happy. That's your treasure. Is that? And God says, I need you to. Know that you have the good part. You have your relationship with me. In Christ are hidden all the treasures, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I love the Amplified Bible. It says, in Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge regarding every word that he's spoken and all of the purposes of God. So his word, his purposes, that excitement that we think we're lacking, that adventure that we think we're lacking, that the exploration, all of that is hidden in Christ. Every treasure we'll ever find is hidden in Christ. And so if you have Christ, which all of you do, if you have him and you have a relationship with him, you already have the treasure. It's hidden in Christ. It's hidden in him. So you're good. So you explore him. You explore his heart. You explore his will for you, his purpose. You explore your relationship with him. And that's what Mary did when she sat at Jesus' feet. She was exploring Jesus. And Jesus says, I'm not going to take that from her. He told Martha, I'm not going to take that from her. Mary has found the good part. And you have the good part. Whether you're able to go 
to some exotic tropical place or not, whether you're married right now or not, whether you have friends right now or not, whether you have the job of your dreams right now or not, you have the treasure in Christ. In Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says in Christ, in us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. We have Jesus. We have his son. We have the father. We have his son living on the inside of us. We have Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. And we have the good part. And so they can give us contentment. They can give us contentment. They can give us rest in our soul. So we're not so discontent. To where your husband comes home and he doesn't find you discontent. Your children come to you and they don't see a discontent mother. Your family talk to you and they don't see a discontent sister or a discontent cousin. Your co-workers don't come to you and see, and see a discontent co-worker. They see someone that's fully satisfied in Christ. Whether you're there or here, whether you're married or not, whether you have friends or not, whether you have money or not, whether you have timeshares or not, whether you have the car that you need or not, whether you have it or not, you have Christ. You have Christ. You have Christ. <laughs> you have the good part. And so our prayer needs to be, Lord, help me set my affections on things above, not on things on this earth. Have my heart stay focused on Christ. Let Christ be my number one pursuit. Let, my, let Christ be the one that, that is most valuable to me. That was my prayer this morning. Father, help my heart to stay set on you, not this earth, not things of this world. My relationship with God, your relationship with God is more valuable, more precious. Christ is more precious than any tropical location. Christ is more beautiful than any place we can ever go to in this earth. Christ is more beautiful. He's more precious. He's more valuable. Our relationship with Christ is the most valuable, most precious relationship in our life. And so it's like, Lord, help me see it that way. Help us see it that way. And then anything you value, you receive from. If you stop valuing your relationship with Christ, if you stop seeing it as valuable, we won't receive from it. We won't receive from it. And so we have to say, Father, keep my heart set on you. Help me to continue to stand back and be amazed at you. Help me stand back and be amazed at what I found in you. Help me stand back, Lord. Help me never lose my sense of wonder. Help me never lose my sense of awe. My sense of reverence for you. God, he doesn't mind us having things, but he doesn't want things to have us. He doesn't mind us going different places, but he doesn't want that to take our heart away from him. Praise God. And so God, he, he doesn't mind us having the desires of our heart. But he said, I need your heart to stay set on me. And I need you to continue to remember who your number one treasure is. Who your first love is. Praise God. Praise God. So let's pray. Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. You know what me and my sisters are dealing with in our hearts. In our heart of hearts. You know the different things that we're dealing with, the thoughts of our hearts, the purposes of our hearts. You know the discontentment that some of us may be feeling, Father. And so we pray in the name of Jesus. I cover myself and I cover my sisters. And I plead the blood of Jesus over our hearts, over our minds. And I thank you, Lord God, for recentering us, refreshing 
focusing us on Jesus, on you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you are our treasure and you are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. You are our number one pursuit. You are the one that we want. You are the one that we need. Thank you, Lord. You are our promised land. You are everything we need. You are everything we want. Help us to get busy exploring you, adventuring you, Father God, exploring and venturing into more of you, Father. Help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to seek you out and search for you with all of our hearts. And you say when we search for you with all of our hearts, you will be found by us, Father God. We will find your wisdom. We will find your ways. We will find your purpose. We will find your plan. We will discover you, Father, in more ways, Father. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you set our hearts on you, set our attention on you, set our focus on you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We have the good part. We have the good part. We have a relationship with you, and that's the good part. We're not lacking You are our shepherd and we don't lack anything. We're not lacking in any way. Whether we have or don't have, we have you and there's no lack in you. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. You are our joy. You are the center of our joy. You are our rest. You are our strength. You are our peace. You are our confidence. You are our life. You are our source. You are everything we need, Father. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to focus our hearts and focus our minds on you in Jesus' name. Let our children see a satisfied mommy, a content mommy. Let our husbands see a content wife in the name of Jesus. Let our co-workers see a content woman in the name of Jesus because we're content in Christ. We're satisfied in Christ in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teach us how to be content. Whether we have or don't have. Whether we are in that job of our dreams or we're not. Whether we're married or we're not. Whether we have children or we don't. Whether we have money or we don't. Whether we're traveling and seeing the world or we're not, Father. We pray in the name of Jesus. That you give us the contentment of Christ. He was satisfied to walk on this earth. He was satisfied to take off his royalty and come down on this earth and dress himself in human flesh. That took contentment. (laughs) That took contentment. And we thank you, Lord. We put on the same mind of Christ. We put on the same mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We receive the mind of Christ right now. Me and my sisters, we put on Christ right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We receive the focus of Christ. Hallelujah. We receive the heart of Christ. We receive the attention of Christ. We receive the validation of Christ. We receive the affirmation of Christ. That we already got it. We're not trying to get anything. We already have all that we need in you. We're just discovering what we already have in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We already have everything that we need that pertains to life and godliness. You've already filled us with everything we need. We have Christ in whom are hidden all the riches of wisdom and knowledge. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us see you as valuable. Holy Spirit, help us see you as valuable. This relationship we have is rich, is beautiful, (laughs) is beautiful. Let our relationship with you bring us joy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let our relationship with our spouse bring us joy. And our relationship with our children bring us joy. Help us to be content with what we already have. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Help us open our eyes to see the beauty of our life as it is. Help us not look for things that we want to to be in order to be satisfied and content. Help us to see the beauty all around us. And appreciate what's around us. 
In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Father, help us appreciate life as it is. Not as we want it to be, but as it is right now. As it is right now. As it is right now. The beauty of our lives right now. In the name of Jesus. Not when the people in our life starts to act right or when things finally start to get right or Help us find the beauty in our life right now and appreciate it and value it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> in Jesus' name. And you're going to bring those desires to pass like you promised that you would. And you're going to give us the desires of our heart. And you're going to cause our dreams to come to pass. And yes, you're going to promote us. And yes, you're going to elevate us. And yes, you're going to take us higher. And yes, you're going to take us deeper. And you're going to do all of those things. You're going to cause us to level up. You're going to take us from faith to faith and from glory to glory. But don't let any of that steal our heart away, Father God, from what's, from what's already is, from what already is right now. Don't let any of that take our heart away, Father God, from you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't let any of the dreams that you're going to bring to pass, the desires that you're going to fulfill, the, the, the levels and elevation and all of that. Don't let any of that cause us to feel discontent. Protect us, Lord. Guard our hearts. Guard our minds. In the name of Jesus. And let us be content with things that we have. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're content with our spouse as he is. We're content with our children as they are. Thank you, Lord. Sure, we want great things for our families, but Lord, help us to be content with things the way they are. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I pray you touch my sisters and I. I pray you continue to bless us, Lord. All throughout this day, help us, Lord. Minister, remind us of this, Lord. Divine contentment. I speak over us in the name of Jesus. Rest for our souls in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are satisfied in you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are fulfilled in you. Thank you, Lord. Our eyes are set on you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And all throughout the day, you give us, Lord God, new reasons, new reasons to rejoice in you, Father. You show us things that we've never known. We explore you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 This is a treasure box. You already have this. You already have this, my sisters. You already have this. This isn't somewhere else. You don't get this when you go and have that life you finally dreamed of having. You already have this. You already have it. You already have it. It's, you already got it. It's already yours. And so you can embrace it. Your relationship with Christ, you can embrace him, you can explore him, you can venture into him, you can learn more of him, you can search him out, and he will enrich your life and he will add value to your life. You already got it. You already have it. Let that sink in, okay? <laughs> Let that sink in. You already have him. And he's already yours. In Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Glory to God. Love you, my sisters. God bless you. Y'all have a, an amazing day. Praise God.